this shit! This episode of Triple THS is brought to you by DraftKings.com. We will now begin the disciplinary hearing of John Jones. How's it going, everybody? Hope this goes well. I can't stand seeing Daniel happy. Mr. Jones, on July 28th, 2017, you tested positive for a teritabol metabolite before your scheduled bout with Daniel Cormier. The B sample also came back positive. Your win against Cormier has been overturned to a no contest. And it is the recommendation of the state that you be fined $205,000 and have your license to compete revoked. Do you have any evidence to refute the failed test? Nope, I got nothing. You didn't find any tainted supplements. I tried, but every one of those damn things let me down. There were no male enhancement pills that were taken. Nothing but prescription Cialis, that shit is fire. So you have no explanation as to how the Ball got into your system. I mean, I don't want to sound like some kind of conspiracy guy, but literally I have video evidence of Daniel Cormier slipping Ball into my chocolate milk. Wow. Can we see the video? You can't, because I just made that up. Look, I don't know how it got into my system, okay? But respectfully, why would I take it? I mean, what would taking that have done for me? Right before the fight, it makes no sense. And to think I need steroids to beat Daniel is just insulting. All this is is science. Fuck science, I hate it. It's stupid. Science fucked me up, but I didn't do anything, okay? I have a science problem. That is all I have. So you can't explain how it got into your system? Absolutely not. But it was in your system. 100%. Okay, so you're pretty much fucked. Do you have anything else? I do. I mean, I don't understand why I'm fucked. I'm telling you that I didn't do this on purpose, and it doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't you believe me? I took a polygraph and everything. Mr. Jones, how many questions were you asked on that test? A lot, like 300 questions, I think. Up to about 300. Actually, I have here that you answered four questions. John, do you remember crashing your Bentley that the UFC bought you into a telephone pole? Look, that was such a long time ago, I was a different person. Actually, that was 301 weeks ago, and you are the same person. John, after your hit and run, you were cited for drag racing? Yes, but all I did was rev my engine. I didn't actually- Actually, it was five citations. John, have you been working hard to stay clean as possible? Absolutely. I didn't even know any of this shit at first, okay? That's why I got so many signs people around me now. They can make sure all my shit's approved. But after my first fail, I didn't even know dick pills could give you estrogen. I just thought dick pills were for your dick. Actually, John, you should have known because when you failed your test last, you were given tutorials by USADA to fill out. Did you not fill those out? Oh, the tutorials? Fuck no. I just had my manager sign them and complete them for me. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, John. John, have you ever downloaded an illegal movie? Never. I respect filmmakers way too much for that. Actually, in 2003, you downloaded a bootleg copy of The Lion King in which Mufasa doesn't die. So you see, John, you have a history of fucking shit up. I'd like to ask him a question, if I could. Do you know who Stephen A. Smith is? He's this young and up-and-coming commentator. He has lots of smart things to say. You should listen to him, John Jones. Thanks, Grandpa. John, do you see what we're getting at here? You come to us with no evidence disproving or explaining the fail. You also admitted to forging tutorials meant to help you learn about what is safe to take. We didn't even know that shit. You just threw that out there. And you have a long history of making bad decisions. I mean, what is it you want us to do here? Obviously rule in my favor. Look, I know that I have fucked up a bunch in the past, but just because someone fucks shit up doesn't mean they always fuck shit up. If Princess Peach goes missing, is it always Bowser? Just because he's the one that kidnaps her the most? I am a fuck up. Undoubtable. Was there Trinobol in my system? According to science, I guess there was. I don't know how the fuck it got there. I didn't even know what Trinobol was. Maybe I'm literally made of Trinobol. Okay, where's the science on that? I don't take steroids, I'm not a cheater, I'm just a little bit of a dumbass sometimes. But respectfully, I'm trying to make changes, okay? I did court-ordered community service for the kids, and they cried, and I was like, wow, this is fucked up. That's changes. The great Michael Jackson once said, David Blaine, your magic is real and I believe in you. But he also said to look at the man in the mirror. And I swear on the almighty Thor of the Avengers that I looked in Michael Jackson's mirror. And I told the man in it that it's time to change your ways. So that is why you should really just stop this bullshit and let me off the hook. Lastly, and respectfully, suck one. John Jones, you are fined $205,000 and your license is revoked pending your USADA hearing. Fuck. Fifth Amendment. Fight fans at Rear Naked Cloaks, we have all the Triple THS related apparel you could ever want. Check out the new role model t-shirt on the right. You jujitsu loving sons of bitches should be eating that up. Role model, you get it? Role model, fucking right, you get it. And speaking of jujitsu, we still got the jujitsu shirt as well as the respectfully shirt. Seriously, fight fans, go check it out. We got a ton of designs already. So many more to come. If you love MMA, if you love Triple THS, if you love looking like someone who loves MMA and Triple THS, head over to Rear Naked Cloaks right now. The link is in the description. We've also got gaming and wrestling apparel too. You can't fucking go wrong. Buy my shit. See you tomorrow, fight fans. 
That's right, I said tomorrow and I probably meant it.